Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to practice writing a program and submitting it to the College Board for the 2020 AP Computer Science A exam. So right now I've got this practice website up. This is the official AP practice website. We'll come back to this later. My second tab, I've got the Java Quick Reference Guide. It's probably worth having a printout of this too. In the third tab, this is a CodeHS sandbox. So basically I'm going to use this as my IDE to help me format the text. This fourth one is Replidit, which does the same thing as the CodeHS sandbox. However, I figure I have two up. That way if one of them is not working on test day, I'm in good shape. I can use either or. In the description of this video, I will have links to all four of these websites. So let's go back to the AP 2020 exam. This is practice, so I'm just going to type in practice. For the actual exam, you'll have your own AP ID. So let's hit continue. You know, it's telling me the amount of time we have. And, you know, on the real exam, we're going to have more time than this. We're going to say get started. Let's type in a name. And where am I testing from? In this case, I'm testing from home. You, know, you can choose to grant the College Board rights to use your stuff if you want. And I'm going to say I agree to the term. And see, it's giving me time until the exam starts. I'm going to hit continue. Now that we've started, we can't use the back or the refresh button on our web browser. If we need to navigate around, we can use links or buttons on the web page itself. Okay, so now i got to wait another three minutes till the exam starts before I can start doing anything else. So let's kind of go through and let's look at the CodeHS Sandbox, and that's what I'm going to use. For both Replidit and the CodeHS Sandbox, you do not need to create an account to use it. So we can see, we can actually run code if we want in here, but, you know, for this, we're never going to write a full program, so we really don't need this tab. So I am going to just hit this button here, and then that just gives me this full screen to actually type my code. Now it's given me some code here, I'm just going to get rid of that here so I can start from scratch. Now let's uh, go over to Replidit, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get rid of all of this. For this one, you know, I don't need the console, because I'm never actually going to be running it, so I'm just going to drag that over there. And this one, you know, these are my files. I'm just going to drag this over here. So then I can start typing my code in here if I want. You know, either one will work just fine. This is just for formatting purposes. Let's see how we're doing over here. Okay, we've got uh, 1 minute and 46 seconds left. So we're actually going to do a little editing magic, and we're going to jump down to about five seconds. Okay, now we're going. We're going to start on question one. We'll hit continue. It's telling us we've got just under 10 minutes left. In the real test, we'll have more than that. So let's go down here. You know, it's saying on exam day, your question will display here. I'm just going to make up a question, okay? Uh, my question is going to be, write a method that takes in two int parameters and returns the sum of those. So I'm going to go over here and go to New Sandbox Program. So up top, there's two important things we have to give the College Board. So we're going to start off with comments, so two slashes, and then our eight-digit AP number. Then the next line, another two slashes for a comment, and then our initials. Okay, now we're ready to start programming. So I'm going to say public static int add two nums. I'm going to have my two parameters, int num1, comma, int num2. Then I'm going to open and close my squiggly brackets. And then I'm going to tab in and say return num1 plus num2 in the semicolon. So we can see all our reserved words are in purple. Everything else is in black. Before we copy and paste, we want to have all parts of the problem. So if there's an A and a B and a C, we'll have to have the A, the B, and the C, and then copy everything. If there's just an A and a B, we want to have the A and the B, and then copy everything. And I'm going to copy and paste it. So I'm going to click and drag and select everything. i got to make sure everything is selected, because I don't want to lose either the top or the bottom. I'm going to hold down Control and say C. Control C is copy. I'm going to go back over here. 
Now, I don't want to attach a file. That'd be if I was doing a graphic or a text file. I want to paste my response. Now, we see time left to submit work. It's, it's counting down. Once it hits five minutes, it's going to warn us. And it's going to say, hey, time is up for working. You've got to worry about submitting now. So, you know, you don't want to keep working after you hit the submitting time because if you run out of time and don't submit it, you don't get any points. So I'm going to say paste response. Now, we can see here, I can't type anything in here. So all I can do is paste it. So I'm going to hold down Control and press V. Control v, v is paste. And then, you know, I want to make sure I got everything. So I'm going to double check. Okay, I got absolutely everything. Okay, good. Now, if we missed part of our response, we can't paste the second part in. So we're going to have to scroll down, press the clear field button, and then we'll copy our entire response and paste it in again. I'm going to hit submit. Now there's no reason for me to complete this way ahead of time because it's not going to let me move on to the next problem before everybody else. So you don't want to wait till the last minute, but you know, there'd be no reason for me with, you know, seven and a half minutes left not to take one more look at it. Okay. So I'm going to hit submit I'm saying, are you sure this is your last chance? I'm going to hit submit. So it says question one is complete. Now I got to wait until this timer is up to go on to question two. And I'm not going to do this for this demonstration, but I'm going to go over to Replicate. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to comment it. I'm going to say my AP number. The next line, two more slashes, initials. I'm going to write basically the same program. So make our squiggly brackets, and then we'll say return num1 plus num2. Now you notice it's giving us some squiggly lines and that's a flag saying there's an issue. Now the reason it's doing this is for this method to work it would have to be inside a class. Now I'm not going to be writing any classes for this exam so I didn't bother setting up a class. So this is nothing to worry about in this particular case. If I had put a class around it then this might indicate that something was wrong. So again same thing I can Go over here, select everything, control C to copy, and then I can't paste it into question two because question two hasn't started yet, but if it had, I could paste it into there. So that is how you write and submit code for the 2020 AP Computer Science A exam. If you want to take a look at any of my tutorials on AP Computer Science A, they could be helpful for this exam. So click on this playlist down here in the lower right hand corner of the screen. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please click on the photo here. And if you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Good luck on the exam.